he had two. Can you hand me my tablet? Mm, no, I can't. I can hand you this, because this is within arm's reach. But oh. it's not a tablet. I don't care. Where you at? Where you at? Over this. And, uh, you should be seeing a game. Welcome to Bookworm Adventures. <laughs> Alright, we might be a little ahead of where we left off last time we played this. I don't remember if this is the same... I think it's the same game we were playing last time. We play it in our own, though, occasionally, so... Yeah. Well, didn't we play it last night? Oh uh, yeah, we were, we were playing one last night, weren't we? Here, you you have or to take no, you have to take the mouse for this because you get you get into the the bookworm zone and I can't I can't stop your your. Okay, well hand me the thing so I can read the chat. Oh, you were reading it in the Chromebook. Okay. Yeah. Um, well we want to resist on attacks. So this is our pain. We want to resist petrify and power down. That's always useful. And resist poison. We'll just resist stuff. All right. I think <clears> we <throat> can deal with hearts and hearts damage reasonably well. Uh, you can spell your way out of any situation. So, how does this game work? Uh, it's an adventure game, sort of in the style of like Final Fantasy or something, except in. Instead of mostly using magic on people and stuff like that, you spell words, the longer the words the better, and you attack your enemies with words, with the power of language. Rinchard, yes. And you are the worm. We are Lex the worm over here, and we are fighting the various enemies, and these are like the different little power-up things we have, but mostly you just spell words. The longer and the more good scrabble letter <sighs> usery. Like you get a word with a bunch of Z's, you're probably looking better than not yeah. a bunch of Z's. So let's see. The gems do special things. The, the, the shiny, these shiny letters do special things. No, there's no, you, there, there's not even one eye. Okay, so I can't do, can you do Lunula? See, she, look, look what she does when we play this game. Lunula. The fuck's a Unula? It's, but she is a word and she knows okay, it. Okay, like, you know on your fingernails, like right near the bottom of it, you got that little white thing, like. The little half moon crescent rune thingy mm -hmm. right at the bottom where your fingernails come in your cuticle. Yeah. Especially visible on your thumbnail, that's your lunula. And no, this is this is not like a JRPG because you're doing more than just rapidly hitting the A button until the battle's over. Yeah, in fact, you could sit here and look at these words all day long. Well, there's no R, so you can't do Jabberwocky. <laughs> there's a lot of things that are missing, actually. I just noticed the J and the B. Blade... W. Window? Well, I think you can do window. Windowed, maybe? Go for it. W I N D O W. Oh, you needed another one for. But that's still a decent word. Is window a word? <laughs> no. All right, window. My fiance's name is Karen. Hi. That did some damage. Okay. There's no P. I always like to try to do jalopy. It comes up more than you'd think. It really does. Uh, you, you can't get elastic. Yeah, there's no R, so you can't do like bestiary or something. Uh, je jealousies? No, you need a U. Test testify. That's Bissat. for Blastula. Jetty, but that's not much of a word. Alright, they want me to change the stream name. I said game medley specifically so we could do anything, but... No C if you want me to get abject. specific... Here, can I see that mouse for a second? I got him. Is there an N for ablution? Ablation? Change no. something. Make everyone happy. Everyone will be happy. Blastoise? B-L-A-S-T-O-I-S-E? 
L'estoile? I've never seen that word before, but it could potentially work. Could potentially be cheating. Could potentially be cheating. I, you know, I looked and best for first of all, Mr. Gort, bestiality doesn't work on there. Secondly, <laughs> bestiality doesn't have an A. It's not bestiality. It's bestiality. We're going to talk about, you know, critter sex, spell it right. But nice try. Not trying to be mean. Oh, I'm, I'm mean to them all the time. They love it. Okay. They, they, they just well, love it because they have no self-esteem. Well, if you're going to say bestiality, ha ha, ho ho, learn to spell it. B-E-S, not B-E-A-S. Right. Yes, you're bestial. Exactly, Judge Frowdy Face. That's how you spell it. All right, back to the game. Back to the game. All right, back, back, back. So, blast twice. I don't even know if what try that it. means. Try it. I also would like to try to get rid of the G, but that's potentially a pretty good word here. Uh, or was it was it with an I O? I don't know. If that is in fact a legitimate sort of word, it isn't recognized by this game's dictionary. Which happens sometimes. Yes. Rarely. So I'm saying stability. Ooh. I like that. S. That was uh, Junkhead1979. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Do we have Zenith? No. Jack, Azimuth? Jack is feeling sick. He will not be back tonight. He's got a cold. Prioritize, no tea. Enamel? Enamel could work. Enamor? There's Jeopard? no D. I was going to say enamored. How far away from Jeopardize? Uh, yeah. We still need a, a, a D. Razor. Per no, I can't do perjury. Enamel is it bad? Uh, from the chat, I'm getting normalize. N O. That was uh, Tiberius Kirk. Normalizes. Oh, see, Karen improved upon it. A normalizers. Karen really improved upon it. Let's. <laughs> let's let's power this baby up. You can there's you can use the power up. And see like if you get a really good word, um he like turns into wrecking balls and stuff and really whomps the <laughs> shit out of him. So let's see here. He's powered up and normalizers. <laughs> eh. That's supposed to be one of the better ones, but it really it's not the most exciting. It's cuter when he does. turns into a wrecking ball and swings. I think that's the second one. I don't think he turns into a wrecking ball in this one. Is this this, this is one. This is book? Oh, this that explains it. Yeah, Bookworm Adventures too. They added a few things. From the halls of Mantazuma to the shores of Tripoli. That's a place. <laughs> it's in here, but yeah, yeah. Jalopy. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> There's no why. Oh, shit. <laughs> you almost have pejorative. Plateau. Can you get, can you, can you get aperture? Aperture science. We do what we must because... We can. Not enough for R's. For the good. Not enough R's. Pain's appetite. You can get appetite, I think. I know. I just talked to myself. Oh, okay. Basically, <laughs> when we play this, I am, I am largely irrelevant. You are not. You come up with some good ones. Largely. Ooh. Oh! You took a shitload of damage there. Yeah. Oh, heal. Boost, boost myself up. Let's see. There's. Sir. Sir. No. Yeah, 
do anything. No, nope, you can't get circular. I was trying to do like circumlocution or whatever the word is. I'm trying to think of. Uh, Curator? Oh, I wonder if we could do curatorial. Is that two hours in a row? I don't know. Here. Uh, no, you can't. There's only one A. Okay, I think it is one R. Should do some damage. And more importantly, it should freeze them. Okay. We should, if we can get rid of this J. Desolute? Be... Is that a word? No, desolate is a word. And resolute's a word. I don't know if yeah, yeah. it is. Or not. It might be. Yeah, I guess resolute works. Istute. Here is suit. No, here's suit. How do you spell here suit? Uh, it... Anybody know how to spell here suit like somebody who's too hairy? What? Like a woman with a beard is here suit. I've never heard this before. You're frightening me. I know I spelled it wrong. A no, not it's not here suit, is it? Here suit. H I R S U T E. That sounds like it's probably it. Yeah, there we go. All right. Never heard of that? Nope. It's it's abnormally hairy. Like, you're hairy, but you're hairy because you're a, you know, a white guy with normal hormones. Whereas if you were, like, you know, an Asian woman with your amount of body hair, that would be her suit. Digoxin. I think that was from Star, Star Wars. I don't know if that's a real thing. Well, we do have ING. There's no A, so you can't do diagnosing. Actually, you need two Gs. Uh, X, let me get rid of some Zs. Like exudes or... Getting rid of uh, a J would be good, too. There's no R, darn it. Dungeon? I kind of like that. Iron Oxide. This is Cosper. Cosper. I don't think that's one that. word. It has got to be. Yeah, you can try it. Dungeonous? Oh, is it dungeon or something? Donuts? Noxious? Noxious is kind of nice. There you go. I, I, I can. Whoever came up with Nox, uh, the real Quaid, I like it. Oxidian? I don't know if that's a word. If it is, uh, I have no idea what it is. If it is, it's too late. If it is, it's too late. <laughs> uh, jousting. No, we don't have an N anymore. <clears throat> Somethingologist. <laughs> Somethingologist? Fowologist. <laughs> oh, yeah, jousted. <laughs> Joustologist? No, I was thinking about doing jousting, <laughs> but there wasn't an N, but some, they're right. There's a, Let me get the special O. The jousted works. Okay. Ironclad? No. No D. Oh, yeah, yeah. Pugilist? No. Perforate? No. Puerile? I think that has an E in it, actually. Another E. Ideologists? Puracil. 
How about That's something that uses W's and P's and F's? Pernicious? If it's in there, that's not bad. No S. Pernition? <laughs> Pernition. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying. Fuselage? No. I keep seeing, looking at these and thinking necromancer, but I know it's not there because there's no N. <laughs> Own, P-W-N. Um, I'm... Cute, but let me just see if he says anything, if there's like an Easter egg for that. No. Graceful is, is not terrible. Pronounce. Foliage isn't terrible. Pronounce. Unoriginal. Unoriginal is pretty long. I'd like to get rid of some of these W's. W and P and... Karen will not accept anything less than a W world word. Oh, there's... By the w way, there's an I-N-G, which gives w us a lot of the... Uh, Somebody saying warp hug? <laughs> Rapping. The... Cobra Un Kyle says gay because he doesn't like words. He can't spell. He failed the grade school. Un so he thinks words are gay. Un glowering. Glowering. Or glowering, whatever. How you however you pronounce it. I think it's glowering. Yeah, I think it's That's glowering too, but I don't think I've Show you different. show you my Wendy's ad. Um glowering, there's not enough G's. Not enough G's, but thank you for the chance. Thank you for the, the guess. Do you remember Wendy's ad boy? Brian? Oh, jeez. Wincing? Yeah, you remember wincing. That's fine. Not the best word in the world, but flowering. Does it flowering work? Well, Try it. I don't give a shit. I don't give no fucks. Flowering isn't bad. That's damn good. I, I will go with flowering. Thank you, Snake Squeezer. <laughs> <laughs> snake Squeezer. Thank you, Snake Squeezer. Your word has been used. <laughs> Creator something. Permeate. I don't know. Permeation? Yeah, I need another E. Premeditate? I'm not sure if we have that. Probably not enough these. Contraction? Contraction? Yeah. Compactor? Yeah. I was trying to do compunction, but... Yeah. Compactor. It's sort of a P. Sure. And it's, and it's fucking long. And so is contraction. C-O-N-T-R-A-C-T. -A -A I think contraction is actually longer. Somebody is... Oh, it's too late. Somebody was saying moderation. <laughs> Defenestration. Can you get it? I don't, probably not. <laughs> so I need at least another. Yeah, we don't have defenestration. All right, all right. <laughs> well, we you have, would need. We have fashioned. Need arms. Do we have ours? Not arms. Unfashioned. Weird. Snake Squeezer said he said frowning. Did you just read it wrong and it happened to fit with what we did with flowering? Yeah. <laughs> well, unfashioned doesn't work. Fashioned works. Oh, that works? Fashioned would work. Unfashioned doesn't. I don't know if unfashioned works. I don't think so. Fashioned works. Yeah. Fa Un well, unf unfastened, right? Oh, yeah. Un unfastened. And 
They work. Unfastened. <laughs> look, look, look. Oh, I came down under. Uh, sir, um, Sir Butzalot says, I think you should save those power words for the boss. All right, I don't think you know what it's like playing this game with with Karen. She don't she don't need to save no words. She's gonna find more power words. The boss the boss does uh, the bosses aren't that difficult really. How come every time you're on the show we seldom die with this game? There's a continuous stream of people saying Rich Evans is getting married. Rich Evans is a girlfriend. It's like nobody can believe that. Rich Evans <laughs> is straight and getting married to a girl who's talking right here. Rich and I have been together I, for a while. I don't believe that. <laughs> I don't really care if they believe it. Conscience? Occasioned? This is Raven Bowman. I like that. That could certainly That works. That, that could works really well. Certainly work. Here are thieves 12, 13, and 14. Aren't there 40? Where are the other 40? Uh Where are the other 36 or 26, I guess. Yeah, 20. No, wait. Math is not your strong suit. Yeah, it's not suit, my strong it? suit. No, no, it's the twenty-six. Twenty-six. Oh. I think they want us to talk at the same time, so they know I'm not just using a voice changer. <laughs> this is a, uh, uh, there you go. Fuck off. I'll say rich while you say Karen. Rich. Karen. Thanks. So, yeah. Some people are upset. I'm not with Mike. Which, you? Yeah, Mike likes women and Rich likes women, so Rich and Mike are not going to work. They have their strange fantasies. Well, you know. All right, all right. Behind. There's no other L for foible, huh? Or no L for foible economy. No. See, what I wish you could do with this game that really frustrates me, you can scramble, but it'll give you all new letters, and it'll penalize you. I wish you could just take the letters you have and just have them scramble them so you were looking at them in a different order. All right, all right. You don't need that. I mean, there's behind. That's in here, but it's not the best. What does the scramble button do? It gives you an entirely new set of letters, and it costs you a turn. And it's really not worth it unless you have nothing but terrible letters. Karen, I don't think has ever needed to use it. I think we may have once. Plus, you, you, they make you use it once in the tutorial. In the tutorial, yeah. That's the tutorial thing. So I'm saying enchilada, but there's no L, so that can't be right. Well, I mean, there's behind, and it's not terrible. You wanted to just use that? No, well, let's see. We're getting obedience. Obedience. Incidents. Obedience is definitely better than behind. Um, both Honey Snuggle and Mr. Bibbs have said obedience. So has Stephen, Stephen Toast. Okay, we'll do it with this so it freezes. Be, and you won't be able to... The blue freezes them, so they can't do anything to you. Obedience will work perfectly well. Yay! Enslave? No. Ensue, but that's not very good. Resolute? There's no T. Ensure? Un un unusual? Unusual isn't bad. Oh, there's no B for unfeasible. I'm sorry. I'm sorry.
someone says, uh, Lumpyhead97 says, I've almost saved up enough money for my Rich Evans tattoo. And is which style is that going to be in? Because I've seen him uh, artistically represented. This isn't too bad, Flourish. Well, like what, what photo of me should they use? Hat? No hat? Oh, I thought maybe Beard. they were going to do the, the, the slightly grotesque style caricature from the t-shirts, the Mr. Plinkett Rich with a hat. Or oh, like the they rich. Don't, they don't count that as being Rich Evans. That's Mr. Plinkett. I think people have that separated in their brain. Or that Plinkett is Mike to most people. Or that really adorable animated version of you from the uh, they, from the pre rec animated. Yeah, those are that. Whoever did that, by the way, it's adorable. Karen loves pre rec animated. Yeah, it makes person me, who it did makes those. Me just want to kiss him, and I can't. So I'm gonna I basically I put those in a loop. <laughs> <laughs> she just keeps walking over to kiss me. It's kind of great. Yeah, you know who needs Barry White. All right, flourish isn't too bad. Migrate, migrate, meringue. <coughs> I spell meringue. Harangue. Oh, harangue isn't bad, yeah. We got enough R's. I like that. Oh, we don't have enough A's. Harangue has got like two A's, right? Uh, I don't know. That was that was my suggestion. How do you spell meringue? So. It's like lemon meringue, like M E R. Chat chat is spelling harangue is H A U R A N G E. Mer oh, somebody saying one somebody saying menagerie. That is snake squeezer. Menagerie. Menagerie will work very well. I don't suppose I don't suppose you can get away with unmenagerie. Uh, <laughs> probably <laughs> not. I was I was kind of looking at these letters and say, trying to figure out if we could do managerial, but we can't. I don't think you could do menagerial either, but uh, that should just be weird. See, I think we got him. Was that like one turn, two turns for the boss? So yeah, we didn't need to save any words. Migraine is a good one. Re enlarge, re enlarging. Yeah, that probably would have been good. Re enlarging. <laughs> Menagerie or uh, sure. Snake squeezer plays bookworm. Yeah, probably. Who doesn't love bookworm? Ugh. Except Pop Cap, apparently, because they this, haven't released another sequel in like ten years. This game is called Bookworm Adventures. And there is a Bookworm Adventures 2, which I don't have installed right now. There is, well, let's let's backtrack. There is Bookworm, the original Bookworm, which is not a role-playing game type thing. It's just a grid of letters, and you try to spell words. And it's a larger grid. But it doesn't have, like, the power-ups the same way. Mm -hmm. And that's available for a lot of systems. You can get that on a Game Boy and stuff. You could probably find that. Or a clone of that for just about everything. And then there was Bookworm Adventures, which this is. Excuse me. And Bookworm Adventures 2 is kind of more of the same. But you have, like, little partners who have different things. And there's more gems. And it's it's just, you know, this game with a little more souped up. Yeah. And we would love to see them make a another Bookworm Adventures. But this one came out about ten years ago. And I don't see no, it. They're, they're probably done. They're probably done. But, you know, th this game being a, a word game that randomly generates letter grids, it's the infinitely replayability is, is there. Evanescence evade. I think it was hard. Uh. Ah, giant green worm, you lived. I mean, yeah. uh, good to see you. Yes, EA Games did buy PopCap, and that's probably why PopCap... Pop cap sucks now. Yeah. There, there was a period where, where uh, before Android and mobile games really took off, where the casual games market was in its heyday, and uh, Real Arcade and Game House and Pop Cap were and Big Fish Games. Of course, some of those are distributors more than producers. We're, we're making all kinds of fun games, and then everybody started making clones and. Then everybody jumped to mobile games. Wasn't um, Plants vs. Zombies 2 nothing but microtransactions? 
I've heard that. I really haven't played it too much. I did enjoy Plants vs. Zombies 1. I, I don't like microtransactions. I, I, you know, if a game is really good, you know, you can, like, sample it or cripple wear it and let me have a little bit of it. And if I like it, you know, if you, if you want to charge 20 bucks for it, you know, I'll pay 20 bucks for it. But don't, th these infinite microtransactions. I can even handle, like, games where it's like, well, you just have to wait to play the next one. You know, I, that's fine, you know, microtransactions. But when you got to pay for, like, everything just for content, it's just like, just let me buy the game yes. once. Yes! I think everybody feels yeah, that way. I will pay, you know, a reasonable sum. I don't expect that every game has to be under five bucks. But just let me simply buy it and have it... Oh, that, that's, they want the money. Money, money, money. I know. Money. I mean, it started with games like The Sims, where they were releasing expansion pack after expansion pack after expansion pack. And, and then it just got to the point where it's like every game is broken up into little pieces. Yeah. And then, you know, you had games like, like Farmville, where it was like, you know, you could play it, but you could pay actual money to get extra stuff. And then it got to the point where if you wanted to have any fun with a game at all, you had to pay money. And that's where I just said... Forget it. Mm -hmm. Just forget it. Or bug, you know, every one of your neighbors. It should be possible to enjoy a game without spending actual money or shilling. Or else just, you know, make me pay for it as a subscription or once, but not in the weird nickel dimey ridiculous this way. Uh, El, El, El Meton 106 in the chat is pointing out, and he's entirely correct, that all your Steam games are on loan because you buy those digitally yeah so i use gog whenever i can what's gog good old games i believe i don't know but gog.com they sell games and you 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 actually there's no like drm involved you just download the game and you can store it on a disc or do whatever shove it up your ass whatever it's yours you don't, need, you don't need their server's permission to start the game or turn on the game or to use the game. And it depends on cost. I mean, I'm willing to pay a nominal... I'm willing to pay a little bit of money to essentially rent a game, but when you start asking for larger sums of money, I don't want to be beholden to your servers. Mm -hmm. I will always shill for GOG. <laughs> GOG games. Good old games. GOG games is redundant. That's like DC Comics. Yeah. Or pin number. Yeah. Hey, so what, what's going on? What's going on? Uh, let's see here. So, chance to resist poison attacks, or petrifying power down, or stun, or... You know what? I think I'll go with this one and this one. The poison attacks tend not to be... Yeah. that bad whereas stun can you know make you have to steam is great for finding games cheap I and mean, there, there are some pluses involved i'm not gonna lie but you really don't own that game that's an illusion steam will be thrown into chaos the second that gabe newall either retires or dies He's the guy in charge of Steam. I have no idea. He's in charge of Valve, who was in charge of Steam. I will say there are some pluses to the model where games are on servers. I mean, you don't have to go, okay, what did I do with the third disc of this? Where the hell is it? Mm -hmm. Valor. Evade. Darth Evader. No. Val valuation of Valor. Under undervalued. Uh, it would be undervalued anyway, right? 
Oh, undervalued. You can get. You can I, get. I, 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 I yeah. spelled it wrong, but also I would still need another. I think you got it. But I don't have the U. O. A U. I'm missing a U. Because valued has a U too. There's only oh, U. shit. Motherfucker. And there's no I, so you can't do valuation or evaluation or. There's no I for gladiatorial or something either. There's just no T either. Regulator, <laughs> rudder. Somebody's saying gonorrhea. Uh, Dungeon Master Blaster says enlargened. <laughs> How do you spell harangued? We just went through this. I, do I think it was one R. Well, I know the word came up before, but we didn't have it for some reason. Rain isn't bad. Go for it. Yeah, Go for it. You're, up with it before. you're at the controls. Do whatever the fuck you want. Unloved. What does harangued mean? Is it like haggling? Yeah, I think it's sort of like harassed or something. Does Karen watch Game of Thrones? I haven't. I've heard great things about it. What do you watch? Um, I don't watch a great deal of TV. I like I Zombie. I was in a play, uh, pretty into The Walking Dead for a while, but I kept having nightmares about zombies, and then I just decided to give it up for a while. Um, it means hassling, bright, I think. Yeah. Okay. That sounds about right. So you stop watching The Walking Dead. You don't watch it anymore. Yeah. Did I, you get old? What happened? No, it just got more and more and more violent. Like, constantly, like. That sounds right amazing. To the ice sockets and stuff. That sounds amazing. I I understand, but it wasn't working for me. You know what their next show is on A and A? That's not A and A. What is that? There's that's a new uh, that's Walking a Dead. AMC. There's like another spinoff or something. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, but they're also doing Preacher, and uh, it looks like it's gonna be terrible. Yeah. All right, Gloward, we got him. And I know that one came up before too. Nope. Evaluators? Evaluators? It's kind of overkill. I think the, I think the, <laughs> the, the blue S is overkill. That's a valuable one. You could use that in someone else. Should I go with something else? No, 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 oh, no. Or just no. keep the blue. Yeah, yeah, I just hold on to that blue S. This should do him in pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> pretty good. I, I, you know, sometimes I watch, I like the librarians, and I like you know, uh, you just Gotham. Watch, you know, you just watched the first couple episodes you could talk about. Man in the High Castle. Oh, yeah. That's like a what if the not, what if the Axis won the Second World War? It's an Amazon original series. I, I think if you don't have Prime, it's pay to view per episode. But, it, but it's, uh, I, I, I have Prime, so I uh, can just watch it. And uh, they've done like ten episodes. We watched the first two, and it, it's pretty bleak. It's pretty bleak. I don't. I don't want to spoil anything, but it's. It's you know what. What if we lost? <laughs> it's an it's alternate kind of reality. Not a, not a pleasant world. Industrial. Windowless. Or windowless. Are you reading any new books? What's what's new? And you got two eyes in there, just so you know. Well, I uh, picked up but haven't read yet the uh, the third book in the Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children series. That's a that's a series where um, the first one. I don't. Should I spoil anything? The first I, one came I, out. So I, years I don't give a shit. The the first book. Uh, this boy grows up hearing stories from his father and his grandfather about monsters and whatnot, and his father believes 
that his grandfather was was telling stories about his childhood running from the Nazis and that he was using the monsters as a metaphor for, you know, the okay. the hardships of his childhood in, in, in you know, Nazi-occupied Europe. But actually there were real monsters and his grandfather had a special gift and he could see them. And, and he was, um, he, he found his way into this, he grew up in this orphanage, which was an orphanage for children with special powers. Mm-hmm. And they've got all kinds of strange special powers. One of them has bees inside of him that he controls and stuff. Bees. Bees. Yeah. <laughs> and one of them can bring dead people back to life temporarily with frog hearts. And one girl, she flo- has to wear heavy shoes because she floats. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But, but uh. Windowless. Yeah, windowless. And, uh. And the movie of the first book is supposed to be coming out, I think, in next year sometime. Mm-hmm. Spring, possibly. And Tim Burton is directing it, which is... Ah, which yeah. is possibly bad. Why? Tim Burton. He was the last, When was the last good Tim Burton movie? I don't know. What's the last Tim Burton movie? <laughs> There's... He did Edward Scissors. A lot of people... A lot of, I haven't seen the, much of his recent he self. the the... But the, uh, I haven't seen his his adaptation of the Raoul Dahl book, uh, the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, but it's supposed to be decent. So people are saying that he has. Uh, yeah, I haven't seen many of his movies myself. I don't like you can kind of like Mike and Jay in this in this too. I think Jack. Uh, yeah, he's not he's not been himself lately for a while now. Obviousness, obvious, obviates. Obviations can work. I was going to go aviation, but yeah, that's better. I wasn't even sure if obviations was a word. (laughs) I just (laughs) thought it was worth trying. (laughs) I've heard of obviate. (laughs) Putty! If you had an eye, you could do perianal for perianus. Uh, let's see. Can you get Puff Daddy? Um, there's no F. Okay. So I'm saying P. Diddy. There's no I. You can do Daddy and Duddy. And so yeah, I, I Somebody's saying Uranus. Well he's in us too. Proper name. Yeah. Doesn't like proper names. So yeah, there's that. I've been listening to an audio book. Um yeah, I can't get to my t- tablet from here. Let me here, give it to me. I'll, I'll, I'll spell. Yeah. You, you know what? We'll finish the stage, and then I'll play something while you just talk to people. Oh, well, I... As far as books, you know, sometimes I read, and sometimes I do audio books. Lately, I've been busy. I screw around online. I read magazine articles and web pages. I'm trying to think of what I, what I finished lately. I mean, I finished um, um, Kind of Kin, which is a book where this family found themselves battling to hide some illegal aliens. It's kind of complicated. Mm -hmm. And this whole Oklahoma town was kind of torn apart by this bill that made it a felony to to hide illegal aliens in Oklahoma. Um... The Room was a nice little book you might like where this guy discovers this There's, secret. There was only one room. Not that one. <laughs> I don't even like that one. I know everybody else does. Where there's like a secret. He, he, he realized that there's like a secret room in his office and he likes to go in there and hang out except that it's not really there. 
and everybody else thinks he's just hiding in the corner and that he's lost his mind. Thank you, Mr. Poopy Pants, for perused. Perused. Perused is a good word. Oh, yeah, audiobook, right. This is going into my audiobooks. Good audiobook that I'm almost done listening to. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? The Clockwork Universe. It's it's kind of about the intersection of religion religion and culture with um, Enlightenment era science scientists. It's got like you know Newton's in there and um, why am I blanking out on the guy's name? Uh, Kepler. Mm -hmm. It's in my library. It won't let me do the. Show me what it's. It just says it's in your library. It won't let me do the description. Darn it. Oh, here we go. The Clockwork Universe is a story of a band of men who lived in a world of dirt and disease, but pictured a universe that ran like a perfect machine. A meld of history and science, this book is a group portrait of some of the greatest minds who ever lived as they wrestled with nature's most sweeping mysteries. And the Royal Society and all these just generally weird guys who did a lot of screwy, silly stuff. Rich, rich, uh, mostly. <laughs> science. Smart, rich frat boys running around doing weird shit. Okay. Some of whom were, were fiercely religious in strange ways, at least by modern standards. They were convinced that that there was a pattern in the universe and that they could use science to figure out what God was doing. They were fully convinced that there was a God and that he had hidden things in the universe that they were supposed to find. So it was like science and mysticism, and it's a good audiobook, The Clockwork Universe. You been reading anything about you, Rich? No. Um, who got Depreciate? Dungeon Master Blaster. Depreciate is a good word. We almost have Faraday, like Faraday Cage. Bam! We're just talking about this. Universe? No. Origami? No. Or Derv? No. No, hors d'oeuvres is like O R S D E V. Okay, oh, I'm not it's Mr. French. I'm not Mr. Spelling. I know. Demurred? Is there a U? No. No. Demonstrate? D E. Demonstrate. Hmm? Dem what? O. N. There's no S. Nope. Darn it. Devoured? There's no U. Devoted? I'm a, I'm a fucking dragon. Says uh, dormitory. Oh, dormitory is a nice word. I'll say that all. Oh, I think I have to use it. Never mind. Hey, if we had an I, could we do vomitorium? Am I spelling it right? Dorma... Is it dormitory or no? It's dormitory. It might be one of those weird things where it's just not in here. I don't know. Let me... Once I, st I... I usually spell decently when I'm writing stuff, but once I start overthinking it, then I start second-guessing myself and... Dormitory, yeah. Dormitory. All right. Dormitory. All right. Foment? As relating to your skin? <laughs> I don't know. No. Dermatory. Fo fomentor? Or fomented? O R? Or E D? Or. Uh. Or just foment. Yeah, you know what? It's fine. He's dead. <laughs> I was thinking about that way too hard. Of course. Nevadatin? I don't know if that's a word. Is that what somebody is if they're from Nevada? He has one heart, give him a four letter word. <laughs> that's <laughs> like, no fun. Like shit? That kind of four letter word? Yeah. 
Salary. Yeah. Skull Dudgery. No. Skill. No. Scold the tobacco. No. Defamatory. Not right now. There's no E. There's no E. Yeah, you're right. Nevada is a proper word. Um. Wait, wait. Oh, oh no, go ahead. How yeah. about I A L? I don't think ovarial. It's ovarian, but maybe ovarial will take. Yeah. I'll do it! It's great! Sieg. Not that it's much of a word. S E A G U E. Or... Segway? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Diurnal? What? There's no end. Oh. Well, diurnal is like the opposite of nocturnal. Somebody said rail yard. Let me see here. Dark. Well, we use the L one. There's no L one. One or the other. Dark. There's no N. You can't do darkened. Darkly. No. Carry. What? K E R R Y. Yeah, that's kind of bad. Yeah, it's not a very good one. Ski. Slosh from DuckTales says agrarious? I can't pronounce it. Egregious? Words. Egregious, thank you. There's only. There's only one G. Nice try. There's only one G. Guarded. From, yeah, uh, I was just, I just said guard, jig guard something. Jiggle I was trying to do guardians, but yeah, guarded probably could work. No, this guy's boss. He might start start kicking our ass. I'm gonna be careful. Is guarded good enough for us? Probably not. Not right now. No, you don't want to go with guarded. No. We'll remember guarded. Eskers, but that's not a very long word. Okay. E S K E R. That's like a, that's a glacial landform. Kayakers. Uh, oh, I like that. I like that a lot. I like, I like it. It's for some good stuff. Yeah. We're using it. We're using it. It's good. Oh, petrified. Uh, cure. Cure. Desires. Desirings. What do you think? You could use the other eye too if you want to do more damage. This other special eye. All right. Oh, he's dead. We killed him. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> so long. Farewell. I know. I agree with how rarely known the word is. I, I totally agree with that. You should definitely get more points for freaky words. And sometimes you really don't. <laughs> it's, it, it's just the game. Yeah. It's just the game. We'll, we'll play the minigame. What's the minigame? Right. Oh, uh... All right, here's how this game works. There is a five-letter word that starts with an R. We have to pick a five-letter word. And Rock. then if... We guess it right, then we win instantly. If we guess it wrong, that it's gonna go down to level two. We're still gonna have the R, and whatever letters were right are gonna stick around. And, and, and if the letter was the right letter, like that that letter is in that word, but it's not in the right place, it'll mm. be silver. And if it's exactly the right letter in exactly the right place, it'll be gold. And the letters that have been used in the letter grid below will be, uh, the color will change on those. Right, pick one from the pick one from the chat. We'll have this be somewhat interactive. Okay, because I was thinking round, actually. Pick one from the chat. We'll range is good. Okay, somebody went with range. Range is good. Who was that? Uh... Or rinse. Rinse is probably even better. Huggy Snuggles says rinse. I've already put in range. Right, range. I'm sorry. Okay. The, so the, it starts with an, it's R-A something. There's no N, there's no G, and there's no E. Yeah. 
So, like, racks would work. Radar. We got a radar. Uh, raspy. Can't be range. Can't oh, be ranch. I like raspy. Raspy? It, yeah, it gets an S. S's are common and a P. It tells you if those letters are in there anywhere. Why? All right, we'll try raspy. Ooh. Ooh, Ooh that P is nice, though. We know the S is going to be on the end. Silver S. So it's got to be... R-A something S. R-A something P-S. Like Raups or Raps or Ripes. So, uh, I'm saying races. Can't be races. The P's yeah, in the, the right The place. P's in the right spot. Ramps. Somebody's saying ramps. That's probably it. A lot of ramps. Everyone wants ramps. Ramps it is, folks. I, You're getting your ramps. Yeah. I think it's ramps, too. I was trying to turn it into a different Fuck, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, motherfucker. So look what we got. We got a oh, fist thing, which powers up. We got a ge purple gem. I forget what that does, but it's a gem. Gems are nice. And what of each we potion. A, a, yeah, a purify and a health. Yeah, it's great. Thanks for stopping by. Go get them, Lex. All right, have you, have you had your fill of bookworm? Yeah, it's 8.56. I'm, I was just looking at the time and thinking, uh, we, we might call it a day. You want to call it a day? Well, or at least call it a day for bookworm. You got That's something fine. else you want to play? Maybe maybe another half hour stream? Yeah, another half hour streaming sounds about right. You want to listen to us ramble on for another half hour? I'll, you you, you, intera <laughs> you interact with people because they get to see you very like. And I'll, I'll futz around with just something. Okay, so... Oh, they're over here. Let me turn the... You know you can turn the brightness up on this, you right? You can do whatever you... I don't care. It's fine. Don't make me use my ramps. Game is about spelling ignores punctuation. The game is not about punctuation. <laughs> <laughs> and it's got a lot of cute touches. Like you uh, keep talking and nobody explodes. Uh... It, it's got a lot of cute touches. Like when you want to leave, he goes, Don't leave me! Dragons don't live in America. Too much racism. Well, don't the KK people call themselves dragons or something? I don't know. Karen, when are you going to show up in the best of the worst? I have no Karen, idea. Karen does not like bad movies. Yeah, I really would rather watch a good movie. It would be a disaster. Although I have to say the one about the airline safety thing, where the guy basically it was his home video of him and his kids on his trip, was like so bad it was funny like i was thinking it was going to be a movie about like air travel or something I don't, I don't know it was like just laughably bad and karen wish matt a happy thanksgiving happy thanksgiving matt happy thanksgiving um everybody i'm a fucking dragon fearful sludge boy chernobyl kinsman and so forth who's albie Ah. Albie. When am I going to join us on I'll be right the back. Hollow Dicks? Thursdays we they, watch they, six they, hours of Star Trek and sci-fi shows. They get together in this chat room and they watch stuff independently. It's not like streamed the video, but they all watch it. That could time. be fun. I, I'm a, I'm a casual Trekkie. Uh, if you start asking me obscure trivia, I'm not going to know it, but I do like the show. Thank you for the Thanksgiving wishes, T. Carlisle Four. Happy Thanksgiving to you as well. Play Doom. I have played Doom. It's kind of fun for a while. I don't. I don't know that I really want to play it right now. It was. I enjoyed it back when I played it. Well, I, Raven, it's the first time you bothered to stay up for the whole show, Raven Bauman. Well, I hope it's been wished, worth the lost sleep on your Sunday night. What are my Thanksgiving plans? Uh, probably turkey with the parents. Thank you for completing Rich Evans. Do I complete you, you Rich? You do. Aww. You really do. We're a good team. All right. <sighs> team Richard.